Berlin, Germany. Population three and a half million people. I'd like to say I can remember everything about this trip, but I'm pretty sure this is the most drunkest I've ever been. So I'm going to try and do something impossible. Create something educational out of a drunken weekend in a sort of hangover-esque kind of way. This time around we had travel companions with us. We had our, two of our best friends, Johnny and Monty, and I solely blame them for the main reason we got so drunk. They'll deny that. Uh, I'd also like to apologise for any strange moustaches that you see in this video. Uh, myself and Johnny were doing Movember at the time, and we raised over about £800 in total for the charity. Get out of your awesome room. If you want to visit the Reichstag, you first have to go online to the official site and make sure that you get a group booking for your party. It feels very safe at night here, uh, you feel free to explore about, there are lots and lots of bars and pubs everywhere, uh, just be warned though the beer and the cocktails are very very strong. Travelling around Berlin is pretty easy, there's a really really good metro system and a tram system and as well as boats you can always take a second. One of the stranger things we encountered is in the Radisson Blue and it boasts to have Europe's largest fish tank. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen, okay? Two guys busking with Rubik's Cubes. Rubik's Cubes. And an angry man beating the ground for no apparently. Eat food here is amazing, so for a few euros you can get a nice Frankfurter hot dog or some curry burst and a drink. There are lots of cool things to see here, including lots of remaining parts of the old Berlin Wall and of course Checkpoint Charlie, which is the border pass between the America and the old Russian state. <laughs> Robo Johnny. I fell off one so we're not going to show you that video. So German food, um, most restaurants, traditional restaurants, focus heavily on a wide selection of meats and vegetables and of course there's always going to be more and more beer. Hey, that's a dead techno music, yeah? That's a dead Take a shit. One of the larger museums here is the Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe. It's, it's so big, it's very hard to explain how big it is. It's 2,711 columns of concrete from a vast maze. You can go around it, there's a museum underneath it. You have to see it to believe how big it is. We also visited the Motorbike Museum and then a World War II bunker. There are hundreds of them throughout Berlin but most are close to the public. The one we found did an English and American tour on a Tuesday and it was also very very close to another World War II site that I wanted to see. Please don't take any flash photos when you're in the bunker, they're really really strict on it. One, two. 
close your eyes. And three, thank you very much. Wow. Now you can open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, important organization in Germany at the time easily pushed out that closure. And uh, this meant that people could. So during the war, Berlin had a vast system of three main defence rings. Uh, the very last one was three big things called flat towers. They were massive, massive buildings that were built from bomb-proof concrete and they had massive defence guns on top. They would shoot up into the sky or be turned down in the city. Eventually they fell after a few days of fighting. Only one really survives now and it's in really, really bad disrepute. You can still go and see it, but you can't enter it without a proper tour guide and climbing equipment. Six meters per second you go up, you see the speed, six meters per second, and the meters. And a little bit of pressure you will feel like yeah. in the airplane. Ah, the specialist here. Perfect. <laughs> and later you come down, keep your tickets for scanning again later. We'll try. Okay. You can walk around, it's a very nice view today. Cool. Okay. Berlin is below us. We definitely recommend that you go up the Berlin TV Tower, do it at night, it costs a few euros and you get the best view of the city. The panorama is amazing and you'll see things you wouldn't be able to see from below. Hello. Hello. Really high up. So Brandenburg gates over here. Oh, Brandenburg gates over here. Okay. Right, let's try this shit. There's Brandenburg gate. Where's the Reichstag then? Oh, there's a dome there. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's a dome. Okay, so there's Brandenburg gate. Here, look, have a wee swatch. Watching the Irishman pouring a pint. Not that the pressure's on, Johnny, but I ain't gonna watch you pour a pint. I'm really sorry, but it all gets very, very messy from here. And never ever go drinking with an Irishman or someone who loves cocktails so much as Monty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it alright now? It's a bit better. I was so dingy. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> so dingy. I didn't. I slipped. <laughs> Shit, I slipped. It broke. Broken. <laughs> this is a very dangerous situation right now. Each one of us has our own beer keg in front of us. We can pour our own drinks at our own strength and it's never going to end well. So, this is how we pour drinks in Germany, we do... Huh? I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, no, not the right by. After an incredibly drunk late night with three of the best people in the world, we've decided between us that Berlin is amazing. Such a very cool and hip place. We didn't get to take in any of the techno because we're far too drunk. But the beer here is amazing, the food is great and there's so much culture and to be honest, we can't wait to be back. My only top tip for this trip is if you ever get the opportunity, go travel with your friends. They will completely change the way you travel and you'll never, you'll never forget that experience. So until next time, paint the skies tartan 
Well, we'll see you soon. Well, that was a fun wee distraction. Uh, will we go to Hart again? No, no, let's go. Let's go back to the main event. Let's go for another Red Skittles.